the square D, which is a standard pump control switch. It's also known as a pressure switch. We're going to take a 5 16 to open up the top nut. Inside you'll find two adjustments. The center adjustment is your range, and the range is noted on two places. It's noted inside, and this is a 4060, and it's also when you buy a new rated 4060. That's the most common. Uh, there's also 3050s that are used for household well pumps, for commercial applications that require a little more pressure. It's more often that you're going to see a 4060. The center adjustment does that range from 40 to 60, and you can raise the range to 4565 or lower it down to 3555 with this center adjustment. The outside adjustment is cut off only. And so if you wanted the range to be 40 to 62, you could tighten the outside nut and that would adjust the cut off only. So if I was to increase the range, I would take a 3 8 nut driver and tighten it down and that would increase it from 40 upwards. The only way to know for sure is to run a pressure test. We're going to show you how the contacts open and close and where they open and close at. So I'm going to tighten it down three or four turns and then I'm going to increase the pressure until it cuts off and you'll notice it opening the contact. because I had tightened this screw down. Now I'm going to lower the pressure and you'll see the contacts close which would normally start a pump. And they closed at 44. So what I did was I, rain, I increased the range by 4 psi. Now I'm going to tighten the cut off only and see if I can go up a couple pounds. This is a little stiffer. One, two, three. And this time we'll see what the uh, cut off when the contacts open is going to be. it up some more. So that's what these adjustments do. The center one again is your range. You're moving that range up and down. The outside is the cut off only. And you would adjust this if your pump was cycling on and off a lot. This might have gone out of uh, adjustment. The reasons it could go out of adjustment is because these are metal springs and depending on the temperature and uh, also the age of the pressure switch, they tend to change their value and you would have to readjust the pressure switch. Also on the bottom of the pressure switch, we'll disconnect it. Inside is a small orifice. On a square D, the orifice on the inside of the fitting is a little bit larger and there's a screen in there and that, that could get clogged with debris and that could cause this to not operate as well. So if you have it so that you can remove this without losing water pressure, then you'd be able to clean this, clean this off. When you're adjusting these screws, you want to have a nut driver that's hollow. I don't know if you can see that, but the craftsmen's are. They have a hollow shaft and that way it'll fit over the threaded rod and you can adjust it counterclockwise and clockwise. We're going to show you the contacts opening. The, the contacts are open now because the pump will be turned off. The pressure has been satisfied. So as we lose pressure, contacts will close. Now the pump is running until the pressure is satisfied again. 
pump is running, the pressure is increasing until it reaches 